Hello. So we're going to run through a ceramics programming with this Genesis controller when novice mode's turned off. So first we're at the home screen. We need to load a new program, so we press the load button. Then we can load either a bisque, a glaze, a glass, or a custom program. So I'm going to go ahead and pick glaze. It's just letting us know that the glaze program's been loaded, so we press OK. Back to the home screen. And then to make some changes, we press the edit button. And now we can make changes to all of the parameters. Now if we want to change the preheat time, we just press on the time, change it to our desired preheat time, press save. Now we can also change the cone number, so we can scroll through all the cone numbers and change it. Press save. Same with the speed. We can either do fast, medium, medium, slow, or slow. And we can change the hold at the peak. Right now it's at zero. We'll hold for 20 minutes. And press save. And right now we've got cooling turned on. So cooling, it adds two segments to the end of the firing. The first segment cools the kiln from the top temperature down to 1900 degrees as fast as possible. The second segment cools the kiln down from 1900 degrees to 1500 degrees at a rate of 150 degrees per hour. So I'm going to turn it off for right now and press save. So once we've made our changes, we can press the graph button and we can see a graph of the firing. So there's a couple things to note here. First of all, in orange, we've got the segments for the firing. In the white numbers down here at the bottom, that represents the time, and the white numbers on the left represent the temperature. On the graph itself, you'll see yellow and green lines, so yellow represents an up or a down ramp, and the green line represents a hold. So once we've made our observations, we can press the table button, and we can see each individual segment. Now right now, these are not changeable for this type of firing. So once we've made our observations, we press the back button, and we're back at the graph, and we press back again. Now let's see what happens when we press the cooling and we turn it on. So we'll press cooling, click on, save, now we've turned cooling on. So now you can see that the graph has changed here at the end. Now if we press table as well, you can see that there's two segments been added on to the end of the firing. We'll press back, and we'll go back to the graph and back to the main settings again. Now if you've made all your changes, go ahead and press the save button and it'll take you to the home screen. So that's it for this one, but remember to check our website for updates, like us on Facebook, and sign up for our e-newsletter for more information and tips. Thanks!